Like a normal person, I used to wash my down sleeping bag and puffy jacket once every season. But somehow they still ended up looking like this, with the feathers clumped up and with large gaps in between them. Well, it turns out that I was washing my down gear completely wrong. If you wash your down gear correctly, it should end up looking like this, with much fewer gaps and with fluffier feathers that keep you warm. In this video, I'll show you how to wash your down gear correctly and also share one other important hack that will make your down gear resist rain and allow you to stay warm even when wet. Winterproof your family with sale price down look jackets. It's lightweight, warm and comes in four colors. Save on girls stylish down look jackets and on warm puffy jackets for little boys and girls. Dawn insulation is this magic super material because it's super lightweight yet it's able to keep you very warm. It does this by trapping a lot of air in between the feathers which acts as a barrier between your body and the cold air. And the best part about Dawn is that it's all natural. It's essentially just bird feathers. That said, that's also the worst part about Dawn because these natural feathers are also extremely fragile. There are four key problems with Dawn insulation. Number one is that you can't wash it with normal laundry detergent. Each feather is naturally coated with oils, which allows them to stay fluffy. If you use normal laundry detergent, unfortunately, you can accidentally wash off these oils, which can irreversibly worsen the feather's ability to stay fluffy. Number two is that over time, these feathers tend to accumulate a lot of sweat and dirt which causes them to clump up and causes gaps in the insulation and this can lower the temperature rating of dawn sleeping bags and puffy jackets by at least 5 to 10 degrees celsius number three is that you can't dry down gear effectively out in the sun you always have to use a mechanical dryer otherwise these feathers won't break up when dry and they'll stay bundled up in clumps and number four is that if down gear gets wet for example in the rain or from the condensation from your tent it tends to bundle up and it loses its ability to keep you warm. But luckily, you can avoid this problem by using a water repellent coating. When treated down gets wet, it still loses about 30 to 50% of its insulating ability. However, it's much better than a 100% loss, especially if you're out in the middle of nowhere relying only on your gear. You should wash your down gear only if you've already been using it for quite a while and you're noticing that it is starting to lose some of its loft. Before you wash them, make sure to look for any hole in your gear where the down feathers could escape from and fix them using gear repair glue or gear repair patches. Then remove everything from the pockets, close all the zippers, loosen the draw cords, remove any quilt straps and turn them inside out. Start by looking for the label with the washing instructions and make sure to follow them. But if there aren't any, you can just follow this guide because it works for most types of down gear, including down sleeping bags and puffy jackets. Never take Dawn to a dry cleaner unless they have a program specifically for Dawn insulation. That's because most of them use a laundry detergent that could strip the feathers of the natural oils. To successfully wash down, you'll need a front loading washing machine. Top loading ones unfortunately won't work because they tend to break the seams or the baffles. If you don't have one, I would suggest going to a laundromat, but you can also wash them in your bathtub, but you won't get as good results. I use Nikwax Downwash Direct, but you can use any brand that makes laundry detergent specifically for down gear. Start by loading the washing machine with your gear. I'm washing my down sleeping bag and two down puffy jackets on two separate cycles because my washing machine is pretty small. I'm also using a laundry bag to protect them. Clean out the tray from any traces of laundry detergent and fabric softener and fill up the required amount of downwash laundry detergent. Do not add anything else like fabric softeners or bleach because it can ruin your down gear. Wash it on a gentle cycle in cold or warm water but make sure that the temperature is below 40 degrees celsius. When finished it's important to do another rinse and spin cycle to get out all traces of the laundry detergent. If needed you can do another one or two spin cycles especially for your sleeping bag because it will take a very long time to dry but before you proceed to dry your down gear i would recommend putting it through another identical wash cycle only this time with the nick wax downproof product or a similar alternative this will coat your down insulation with a water repellent coating which will help it keep its loft even when wet if you're often hiking in rain or in winter or you have a lot of condensation in your tent then doing this step is really 
really important because it helps you avoid potentially dangerous situations and it costs just a few dollars extra. Unfortunately, you can't dry down gear effectively without a front loading dryer. If you don't have one like me, I would recommend going to the nearest laundromat when you finish washing it. Before putting your sleeping bag in the dryer, I would recommend hanging it out for several hours to get most of the water out because it takes a very long time to dry. It's also advisable to put down gear in a drying sack first, especially if it's ultralight because it's usually made from very thin materials which can rip very easily. Do not add any drying sheets but you should add two or three tennis balls because they'll help with breaking the feathers apart resulting in a more lofted finish. Set it on a low heat cycle and dry it until it feels completely dry. After you've done, leave it in a well ventilated and dry place for another 24 hours because you don't want any water left inside the Dawn insulation which could encourage mold growth. But before we end this video I also wanted to share three other important tips that will help you keep your down gear clean for longer and take good care of it. Number one is to always use a sleeping bag liner. This allows for the sweat and dirt to accumulate in the sleeping bag liner instead of the sleeping bag which can be washed much more frequently and without any special washing instructions. Number two is to always sleep with a beanie because your hair has a lot of oils and dirt and the hood of your sleeping bag is usually the first place that needs to be washed. Number three is to never store your Dawn sleeping bag in a compressed state. Instead hang your Dawn jackets on a hanger and keep your sleeping bag in the large sack that most sleeping bags usually come with. This allows for the feathers to stay fluffy for when you really need them. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it subscribe and I'll see you in one of my next videos. Bye!